Hello everyone, this is Julie. Welcome to my channel, Jewels, Suds, and Soaps. Um, today what I'm going to be doing is painting the inside of this mold with mica and alcohol, mixed with alcohol. These are really cute. Bumblebees. Okay, so I went ahead and mixed my black up, my black pearl dry uh, from Amazon. And what I did was I just added very little of the alcohol. You don't need much with this. A little bit really does go a long way. Okay. Just gonna kinda go over it again. Okay, I'm going to go back over it again. More layer. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and start this one here. Hopefully you can see. I'm going to try and use this Q-tip so I can get into the ears. Let's see if that works. Okay. Yeah, a little more. I'm going to do this one. This is really fun to do. It's not going to be perfect, but you know, that's what makes it homemade. Okay, so I'm going down now. I'm going to do the wings. Okay. I hope everybody's having a good day today. Really, really fun to do. I'm going to go back in now and do like a second coat. Now you could use, you know, like I did to get in there, you could use a Q-tip if you don't have a paper up uh, if you don't have a paintbrush you know a makeup brush like what I'm using that will do okay so that's how we're looking so far okay Okay, the next color I'm going to do, let me get a towel here. I'm going to do the yellow next. Now, there's no right or wrong way of doing this. So here I have my mustard yellow. Okay, this is going to need a little bit more, it's way too thick. Now I'm 
I'm seeing some of their black, which I don't know if I like. Try and add some more yellow and see if that helps. Okay. We are going to start. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to go back over. Okay. Okay, I want to even out this a little bit. Okay. Now this doesn't have to be perfect. It's no right or wrong way. Okay, now I am going to add, because as you let this sit, it was running at one point, but the alcohol will evaporate. So, all you need to do is spray some more in there. Just like so, mix it up. Okay, so I'm going to be doing the honey with this now. Just going to dab it in there. And then we'll be adding the white soap base. Forgive me, I'm kind of doing this upside down here. Okay. So I'm hoping I'm hoping when I'm done with the bars that the mica doesn't just come off. Okay. Almost done here. Okay, we're going to go back in. Okay, go back in here. Okay. Okay, there you go. Now, I did make a little bit of a mistake where there's a little bit... Let me try and see if the alcohol in a Q-tip will get that off. Okay. Let's get that off. Okay. Okay, so let me finish. I just need to finish this one and then we will be done with that. Again, this turned powdery, so I'm going to go back in. There we go. We're just going in 
and the B stripe. Okay, that's pretty much done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my soap and melt it down, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I went ahead and took my white soap base, um, Melt and Pour, and I melted it down. And this will be the actual base of the soap. Take the temperature on this. I, the thing is, I don't want to pour um, when it's too hot because I don't want it to take up all the, the mica and give it a weird appearance. So we're just going to keep stirring it. Check the temp. Okay, we're at about 150. That is still too warm, too hot. Yeah, let's check it again. Okay, getting there. What I think I'm also going to do when I pour is pour directly on top of my spatula allowing the spatula to have the initial impact. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's going down. Now, once this gets to a certain point, usually about 135, it does start to thicken up, and it will thicken up quickly from that point on. Okay, let's see where we're at temperature wise. Okay, we're getting there. Definitely getting there. We're gonna wait just a little bit longer. Yeah, it's going down. It's in the 130s now, so I'm going to start pouring and like I said, using the spatula for the impact, direct impact. I'm just afraid it's going to be too hot. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my rubbing alcohol. That'll get all the bubbles out. Now I'm a little concerned because I do see some of the colorant, the mica coming through. So we're just going to have to wait and see how that turns out. Okay, I'm going to let these set for a couple hours and I will be back for the unmolding. Hello everyone, we are back for the upmolding. Um, we're going to see how these turned out. Okay, that's that one. Okay, and there's this one. I'm trying to see, now it doesn't look like this is coming off may have to sit for a little bit. Okay, let's get to the next one. There you go. Really, really pretty. Thank you so much guys for joining me and I hope you have a great day.